Thanks everyone for joining us. My name is Dina Beard and I'm the director of the lab. Um, so for, for those of you who aren't familiar, the lab is an art space in San Francisco. Normally, normally our programming runs a gamut of experimental work, sound, film, dance, performance, visual art, all of that. But we are also committed to our commissioned projects where we give two to three artists each year between 25 and 100 grand each $100,000 each um, keys to our space and the option to revise any aspects of our operating model that they see fit. And in this, we really wanna know how far each artist can take their inquiry and how much we can bend to make the project of art possible on every level. So the artists really become the directors of the lab while they're in their commissioned project period. So um, thankfully we are committed to continuing this direct funding during this time, um, although it's difficult but um, we really, we really want to help artists pay rent and take care of each other. So, um, but of course, during the pandemic, we don't have the opportunity to gather as we once did. So we started these online forums as a way to reimagine how we share ideas across many social and geographic contexts. Each of our speakers has presented on their tactics of coping and refusal in these difficult times, and listeners have been sharing their own responses. So in this, these forums present, propose that the project of freedom is a project of actively making a world with others. This is a practice that encourages focusing on the we rather than the I, which is why inviting Ron Grupa here today seemed so essential. So in all, I think there are 10 members of the Ron Grupa collective, but please correct me if I'm wrong. And we are lucky to have with us today Ade Darmawan, um, Mirwan Andan, and Farid Rakun, who are all calling in from Indonesia. Their project was established in 2000 um, to involve artists with other disciplines such as social sciences, politics, technology, media, et cetera, and to give critical observation and views towards contemporary issues. They also produce collaborative works in the form of art projects such as exhibitions, fes festivals, art labs, workshops, research, as well as books, magazines, and online journals. Your questions and ideas are essential to this project and the forum right now, so please use the Q&A section of Zoom to ask questions, or if you're on the YouTube live stream, you can use the comments section. I will read those aloud after Ruan Grupa have a chance to talk about their work. Um, so finally, I'd like to thank Philippe Perot, who introduced me to Ruan Grupa, and to Matt Carney, who's helping me today with any technical issues on the back end, which often there are many. So um, we will try to keep in conversation as, as much as possible with any issues that you're having um, technically. So with that, I'd like to hand it over to all of you and we can get started. Thank you for joining. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having us. Uh, checking audio, is it okay? Good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you for having us. I can start, and then uh, the two of my colleagues can also join in afterwards as well. Uh, thank you for having us, and then uh, knowing that you are from San Francisco and the states, and then a lot of people don't know that much about Ruang Rupa to begin with. Maybe it's good to say that we're an artist collective starting in 2000. Ade is one of the founding members and then still acting like, on paper at least, still acting as our director. Although, yeah, we don't really have membership as you said before, you know, like the nine or ten people who are responsible right now for Documenta could be understood as uh, members, but uh, people come and go. And then it's much, uh, it's really, really organic throughout the years. Uh, there are a lot of iterations that we have been under uh, throughout the years as well, starting from uh, rented houses uh, in a very specific area of Jakarta that is kind of residential, but undergoing a long term uh, gentrification up until ganging up together, forming collective of collectives, and then making space, a uh, big space, 3,000 square meters uh, inside space as our way of working up until the latest iteration is something we found with other collectives as well. 
uh, following the collective of collective term uh, serum and graphic suruhara it's worthwhile to mention and uh, it's called good school it's an informal educational platform for collective and ecosystem building in much more south part of jakarta uh, because you know space is something ruang in our name ruang rupa ruang is, means space and then it's very important for us to practice uh, special sensibilities because in Jakarta especially it's a much contested thing and then following up as well like again maybe in the states not everyone is familiar with documenta for example uh, it is a, a, an exhibition contemporary art exhibition usually uh, held for every five years uh, started in 55 uh, and then <clears throat> for this we are acting right now as collective artistic director in which we kind of like propose a term of lumbung um, translated to english freely maybe as rice barn or silos so it's like a concept it's not a theme it's a concept of uh, something we practice already by having good school and the ecosystem before as well so it is it's not something we come up with especially for documenta but something we already practice and then Actually, it's an invitation back for Documenta whether they would be interested at that moment to be part of our ecosystem. Uh, look, this rice burn is actually uh, kind of like a metaphor as well for collective governance. So it's, of course, in the end, it needs to be feasible, exper experienceable, you know, like all those kind of stuff. But a lot of invisible works are are contained within as well so it's institutional practice instead of only like uh, instead of merely institutional critique let's say so we we are interested in uh, trying to practice uh, also learning from others on how to do and build a different artistic ecosystem uh, or yeah the system is very important like whether there's a system that is that is uh, familiar and also hospitable to our type of practice you know like uh, stuff that is very locally rooted uh, not only focusing themselves on global visibility all those kind of stuff but uh, to make art to be an integral part of everyday life let's say uh, and how to actually practice it together with strong whether it's like uh, state back or privately found founded initiatives and institutions so that part of ecosystem thinking is very very vital in how we work uh, with lumbung uh, maybe some of you know maybe not but we started with uh, expanding and extending the invitation of documenta to other people outside of ruang rupa first is the artistic team uh, in which we're working with like you know not only curators and artists but uh, also those who know and focus on education, for example, or economy and technology, etc., etc. And then further as well, we've announced like that we're going to work with nine for now, but it's going to keep on expanding. Nine or initiatives from all over the world uh, that kind of like practice this locally rooted uh, sensibility as well as generosity sharing sufficiency all those kind of stuff 
and then i think it's as you said in the introduction as well it's um time has it like chance has it as well that we were thinking lumbung as preparation for when crisis hits you know like we didn't know when a crisis would hit but uh, the crisis would make clear that the the old system is not sufficient it's not bad in itself but it's not working for us of course but we are not saying that uh, it's not working at all so but then when that system is falling apart maybe we can also come up with an alternative because we didn't come from there you know uh, so yeah chance has it it's actually rings louder than ever right now maybe it's time to accelerate instead of postponing uh, so that's what we're doing right now it's still as everything we're doing it's an ongoing process uh, so it it if we're as curious as everyone else maybe even more curious on how this process would end and then what it would take us to uh, maybe as a starting point i can stop there and then ade and andan can continue yeah just uh, maybe just add a little bit <laughs> because uh, when we got approached by uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, i call it the uh, they call it finding committee <laughs> Of, of documenta uh, uh, and it, this is this is also really uh, quite a similar uh, question to ourselves uh, not only by invitation to work outside indonesia but also uh, uh, you know like like what what does that mean for us you know like uh, by doing projects outside our uh, context for example so <clears throat> so what we think it's always what it can be back also not not being exp exploited by by uh, by the art industry or art <clears throat> uh, scene outside uh, 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 what we are doing so thinking about that cycle about about what we can contribute but also can go back to contribute back to to what we are doing is actually like being a uh, very important uh, sort of uh, cycles that 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 somehow uh, with the lumbung and also with the uh, an invitation is actually really something that we uh, heavily think always, which is it must be also resonate with with many many projects, many many artists in many many places, you know, and also how curating it's it's uh, it's very or events or binals or any institutions uh, uh, also have that mode of detaching or extracting any of those practices from local context and then bring to a certain places or space and time called exhibition let's say or projects Right. So, so this this is not on, only about about uh, documenta uh, 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 invitation. Uh, uh, that's what I'm saying. It's it's also it's actually like our mode in many practices in in the art world. Right. It's it has this extraction. It has this exploitation. It has this uh, det detaching <clears throat> uh, mode of 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 practice in itself which we all celebrate <laughs> so uh, 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 so when when it has when 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 it comes to us uh, first we are really thinking like what or or how how to make uh, this invitation or this uh, contribution or this participation will be also be great contribution for us not only now not only until 2022 but also beyond 2022 so that's uh, uh, what we are thinking of this uh, lumbung ideas not as a theme just exactly like farid said 
it's not a theme it's a it's a mode it's a it's there's a value in it there's ethic in it there is a there is a way of working rather than a theme or centralistic theme that it's like everything so everyone was or will <coughs> react uh, to it so we come up with with something that we already do we already do we're still experimenting we're speculating we don't know that it's going to work or not but at least for now it is something that we are thinking that it's it's really a great basic to work with <clears throat> uh, in conversation with with many many models many many system of course uh, uh, in in the arts in the social context and so on <clears throat> so this lumbo for example it's it's it it happens uh, we're practicing it more or less many many years but i think it only last five years or four years that we 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 sort of like really take on the and more even more into pretty much extreme uh point that in the beginning uh uh we only do collecting more uh intangible resources which is ideas time uh uh uh, energy and so on uh, and then now for example we have the mechanism of assembly uh, call it majlis every month that's sort of like the the main uh, important decision making mechanism or brainstorming mechanism or sharing mechanism every month and then uh, now to an extreme point that even money we actually, I think the last two or three years, we do that. <clears throat> in the beginning, even we are already working with a lot of collectives that uh, Farid mentioned uh, uh, in our uh, uh, Lumbo already for many, many years. But like, like when you're talking about money, possession, <laughs> that's, that's not stuff. Like the trust is not even enough, you know, you, you need math. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so it, this is, this is another things that we also learn a lot from from that practice, but now we are, we are pretty comfortable uh, even to share that <coughs> resources. So we have. Sorry, I'm going to go a little bit detail on this. Uh, uh, we have like several accounts, like bank accounts of uh, every collective, but and then we have uh, a group of people who can oversee everything. So that transparent. So I like for now, for example, I can check. Uh, how much <clears throat> uh, tangible and intangible resources in in each collectives, and then and then every month we decide how to sort of like distribute or redistribute that. So those uh, it sounds uh, uh, easy, but you know, like when when it's also very interesting how these kind of like a simple uh method or math actually being being become like a super big challenge especially for how we live in the contemporary world not only the art world but also how 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 we apply that in the in the in the in the in the daily life so those those things is actually the one that we try to bring also to the documenta like one will say immediately people will Think that it's going to be difficult. We know it's going to be difficult. <laughs> uh, but uh, but I think like there is a, a lot of things that we need to think. One thing is actually we we're not aiming for exhibition. Not only aiming for an exhibition, or not aiming only for 2022. We are aiming for go beyond 2022. Like really thinking out loud with like Farid said, or with also uh, with other. <clears throat> organization initiative who are also similarly doing uh, or practicing similar ethics and, and, and practices. So those things are, uh, are really in, in the process now. And then, uh, and then we're going to have a translation of course in 2022, uh, not only in Castle, but only in many places. Scale is very, uh, is very important here, time as well. Uh, how to make uh, uh, the event itself is humanly accessible and 
experienceable. Uh, so we are not thinking about making like one big thing or like big exhibition. You know, I don't think we're interested in that. I think we are interested in collecting small, medium models and practices <clears throat> and make sure that it's in conversation. And so not aiming big main centralistic monumental thing. It should be sustainable and many rather than one big uh, uh, sort of centralistic uh, experience. So that's why also we, we start with uh, we start with the Lumu members uh, that we connect with right now, thinking together with them, and also uh, in Castle as well. Uh, it we're going to start it. It start already, but but it, I, I think officially it's going to be. Hopefully, we're going to open it in September, called Truru House, which is actually based on uh, artistic and also curatorial. Uh, uh, method which is coming from the space coming from the conversation rather than rather than uh, a thematic being uh, uh, addressed yeah I'll, i will stop there otherwise i'm gonna go on uh thank you uh and then if you want yeah uh i want to add some some points uh one of one of the reason why why we why we one of the reasons why we chose Lumbung is uh, as the theme that we proposed uh, when we were invited to Documenta and then we invited them back to this uh, with Lumbung concept is that uh, it's not that we we are in the cave and then waiting for inspirations but as also Farid and Ade already mentioned that we've been we've been practicing it uh, it's actually uh, it's actually it can be it can be it can be called as a way of life that we've been practicing in Ruang Rupa. and then that's the reason why uh, as in lumbung as a as an agricultural uh, term uh, as, a, as an agricultural society term uh, it's also a reflect uh, in the society we where we we've been living in uh, what we do, what we've been doing, is very, very organic, and we can, we can, we can say that it's very natural. I mean, uh, that's the reason why the, the, the membership uh, doesn't really apply here, uh, because if it's membership and then you have a car, and none of us in Ruang Rupa has a car as a, as a, as a, as a, as a proof that we are member of Ruang Rupa. It, it's, it's never been. It's never been used the, the the concept, and I think it's never it will never be used the kind of uh, card system uh, or even membership. So that's the reason why when we 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 explore a lot of uh, natural uh, natural farming activities uh, in Indonesia, the that uh, that we. We, we we reflect from those activities also uh, the 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 agricultural activities which is uh, less toxic to, uh, which is uh, less of uh, using uh, chemical fertilizer uh, less of using pesticide fungicide and uh, herbicide uh, and then uh, with this lumbung concept we 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 have some values that we 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 formulate, which which are those values are actually very basic. I mean, it can be applied anywhere. Uh, it can be applied anywhere, and every human being uh, has it. Uh, like first thing first is humor, because we really like to work with humor. Uh, uh, you you can we we are a big fan of many of this uh, many of this. Uh, Indonesian uh, Indonesian uh, situational comedy group, uh, as well as from uh, as well as from uh, UK or even from America, like Ade. As far as I understand, Ade is a big fan of Seinfeld, right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, with that kind of humor, we really like to we really like to uh, do everything. Uh, 
through humor we 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 believe that everything uh, can be uh, everything can be it's not everything can be done but it, it everything in the process would be would be playful uh, with this humor and then the 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 the, the value the, the the next values are uh, locally anchor uh, because we believe that people who are locally anchor uh, they really know what what to do and they really know what they do with their own context uh, uh, they they know they, they they are the devils in the details uh, they, they know everything and they know everything uh, from scratch uh, in the context where they are and the next values uh, are uh, independence uh, locally anchor humor independence and uh, sustain sustainability you know so sustainability because this is this is also a very important keyword uh, or very important values uh, for us uh, as you maybe know that uh, we've been through in Ruang Rupa for 20 years and then we we really we've been through the process of uh, and struggle how to how to sustain up until 20 20 years it's not an easy thing uh, up and down uh, of course uh, many people uh, many people come and go uh, but uh, at least we, we we still we've been breathing for 20 years which is uh, which is we 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 hope that it, we can have a longer, uh, longer life. Uh, we don't need to be a cat that has uh, nine lives. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, we want to have more many lives. I mean, the uh, years to come. Uh, I think that's uh, and also in this in this in this in this project uh, since. Uh, since the values I mentioned, like from humor, independence, sustain, sustainability, and also uh, locally anchor, uh, we believe that it will be very, it will be strengthened uh, by the stories. Each stories we have, everybody has their own stories. Everybody has their own uh, things to converse, to tell. And then uh, we, it doesn't mean that we had theories. Theories is important, but uh, we believe the theories, uh, stories, uh, stories will make will make us uh, more playful and also more uh, more powerful to 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 do uh, many things. I think that's from me. Uh, yeah. I love the press release too that you all put out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we try. I mean, like it, it's it's hard. No, it's it's hard. Uh, we, we 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 even searching the the, the history of press release. It, there is a there is a very nice uh, website actually about the about the history of press release. <laughs> but like uh, no, we we try we try. Uh, uh, have a different discussion uh, also, uh, and also different treat towards media as well. Not, not by telling them what is it. I mean, it's 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 very hard actually. We we uh, uh, that come up after we cannot do the press conference because we we trying to do also different press conference that it's more uh, conversational, for example, rather than just like you as. Uh, as a man or a woman <laughs> telling media what to write, which is uh, uh, for us is really problematic. But uh, 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 like if, if we see the so-called press release or like a, a news that we spread, it's also everyone is actually telling stories and, and, and also uh, uh, rather than just like making a list of artists, you know, like, you know, it's, it's just like a name, which is like without any context. You know, it's 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 a very uh, it's very uh, uh, it's very strange as well. So so uh, so what we do is actually, and and we have we have uh, uh, thinking that we're going to do different channel and different way as well. Not uh, uh, hopefully it's going to be different again <laughs> when we. <laughs> when we uh, 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 share uh, what we've been up to, to the world, to the public. Yeah. 
And you can say yeah. no. Sorry. 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 No, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to. No. Uh, but just to add to what Ade has said as well about press release, it's like kind of like also an entry point to explain a little bit more in details of what we're doing. Uh, we're trying to make look like look, this lumbung needs to be holistic, you know? so it's not separate departments, let's say. What we're trying to do with Documenta, especially right now, uh, is like also reflecting on a lot of our and also these people we are working with and how we have been practicing stuff where there's like, uh, it's almost non-hierarchical in a sense of like, there's an ex a big exhibition thought by one person, you know, like uh, taking all the burden and all the responsibility and all the credits for, for that. Uh, but it's almost, and then this exhibition will be supported as a plug-in with other elements, no? Education, mediation, communication, publication, uh, inclusivity, all those kind of stuff. But how to actually, the challenge right now, because we are, if we are thinking holistically, how all those kind of stuff is not, uh, is imbued, it's like, uh, it's already, it, it doesn't come as an afterthought. You know, like, uh, oh, there's an, there's an exhibition of artworks that speak to certain, um, certain group of people, but then we want to talk to more people to make it inclusive, you know, or then we need to think about sustainability after publication or mediation or communication is only supporting uh, elements of and for exhibition. But what if we think about like press release is a good example actually on how to even from the process how to address uh, these elements as part of Documenta 15 as a whole, you know? So it's, it, yeah, it's not that exhibition and artworks come as the most important thing, that way, uh, the voice or the one responsible for 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 uh, collecting all these things together to speak is is the genius, let's say, you know. So we're not we don't come we don't come from that type of background and beliefs, let's say. So that uh, how to be how to practice that stuff that Andan had mentioned before, like uh, how to be generous in practice, even in exhibition making, what type of exhibition can we make, you know? Uh, and how education is integral part from the beginning of it, how uh, communication is not only to speak to others, but also letting others speak for us and with us and, you know, like all those kind of stuff. Uh, that's why how to practice media relations differently that way, you know, like uh, that's why uh, Ade was tapping into press release as an example of it. That's why it's not a press conference we were thinking about, but it's like a press roundtable. How to make uh, media is not only an, an after part of an exhibition, but that's actually kind of also the, in, in Lumbung, uh, every element, uh, can contribute, no? So realizing how much contribution media can make for an event like Documenta, uh, can it make that contribution much more generative instead of uh, coming afterwards and commenting on uh, what's already been made, all those kind of stuff, you know? Uh, yeah, so it's kind of like maybe that part, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, maybe you can speak more on like, uh, why was it interesting for you to see our press release? But it's just because of your comment, basically. Yeah. <laughs> well, press releases are normally hideous, right? <laughs> it's just <laughs> word salad of just, you know, platitudes of the art world and the hierarchies, like you said, are just uh, super 
pre present in every in every press release I've ever read. It's just you can just kind of brick it out to who's speaking to who and why the rhetoric involved in that. But this kind of storytelling that you do is generous and funny and loving and imaginative and it involves this kind of weaving through of many different trajectories and narratives. Um, I was thinking a little bit about Lumbung, just it, I think it's, it's extremely abstract and you don't have to, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but as a storytelling exercise, maybe even just talking about an example of Lumbung from the, from Yakarta or wherever you've presented it in the past and how it's, how it's gone down. Yeah, it's a, uh... Uh, maybe I mention a bit about about, about the the the, uh, the situation that we experience. Uh, but like uh, like for, for 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 now, for example, it's it's really important also to uh, the the most challenging is actually amazingly challenging is actually possession, which is. Uh, <laughs> Uh, not only, I mean, in the artwork, not only money, of course, but also ideas, let's say, in like to, to, to profitize uh, uh, ideas, artists. And that, that's, how, that's how we build uh, 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 this artwork. That's, that's, how, that's how we thought. That's how, we, that's how art school uh, uh, teach us and, and the industry teach us, right? So like, like with this looming, it's like the, the basic thing, which is like like the most challenging is actually to dissolve, to uh, when you commonize, when you collectivize the, uh, the uh, 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 even the ideas, you know? So that's a, uh, so that's a, it's not, it's not the romanticize the, uh, the, the collective practice. This is the, this is really a challenge. This is really struggles. Uh, when you sit together with a diff, not only you but also with other friends in your collective, and also with other collectives, and then and then also talking about your programs or ideas, and then it's actually being shared, being ready to be picked, ready to be uh, 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 stolen or applied or adapted in different way, uh, and also we can do that as well with others. So like like to lose the control, to lose the uh, certain control, to lose the certain position, and those again the cycles. Uh, that's why also being locally anchored, it's become even relevant because that's or like become or being diverse because it only makes sense when it's diverse. Actually, uh, uh, the resources will the the lumbum will will have more interesting or like it ac actually can work from within uh this value when 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 you have or when you respect the diversity you know uh, uh, because that's the only uh sort of also basic condition uh so those things are really really uh uh applied uh, in, in, in the Lumbung practice. And one other thing is actually time. It's, it's very interesting also how, how this uh, <clears throat> uh, connected to the locally anchored as well, uh, how time is actually, I mean, we, we, we all actually based our economy also in, in, and resources in, 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 in agreeable <clears throat> or uh, a time signature time concept which is now it's we're talking about colonization you know time is actually also one of the math of course <laughs> we 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 force to we force to 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 agree us to 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 a certain time and to also to certain way of calculating things <clears throat> So this, with the local anchor, with this, this diversity, we, we we try to respect that as well, and we try to even that. That's why uh, back to Andan's uh, with storytelling, it, it's really interesting how the folk tales, for example, will will tell you more about like sort of like a different different ideas or different concept of 
<coughs> of time and resources as well. So it's like uh, uh, those things are really we uh, uh, we really uh, uh, challenge with the diverse model of of uh, or diverse cosmologies that we are <coughs> working on. So back to like sort of like in 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 how we're practicing it. Uh, it's really a like good school, for example, the collective collective that we have now, uh, three collectives which have like other sub sub uh, intense uh, uh, program activities, all of us we have. And it it's like every majlis, it can be like 50 to 70 people, which is every assembly every month uh, uh, and it's really open everyone uh, can say what they feel and then also uh, uh, if there's a problem we have to solve it maybe not that day so that's that's why also it it, it will last sort of like <laughs> a whole day mostly uh, uh, from noon until quite uh, uh, an evening and and uh, and we converse everything you know like like uh, maybe we maybe we don't solve problems uh, uh it's totally an efficient way actually this way <laughs> that's why that's why uh only uh only uh only uh 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 i think only rich society can can apply this this is also really really uh important because and then we have we have to set our time we have to we have to uh, forget the efficiency we have to deal with uh, one by one in conversational way which is which is many times it's uh, uh, it's not necessarily a solution and it can go on and on uh, uh, and then and then and then this uh, a certain uh, team of group will be responsible to which is which is rotating every month as well this group but this group will be responsible to to push or to to uh, uh, to develop the process more until the next month and then the, the other group will take on so it's going i mean we don't really have like a structures uh, 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 per se but it's more like like rotating sort of could, could rotating i mean like if you're thinking about power because power is also very uh one of the human invention that it's <laughs> it's really a we really super struggle with if it's if we if we might born with it maybe we can rotate that so so struck we, we don't really believe in structures or we, we we believe in like sort of like a like a different roles so it's function and roles rather than the structure or uh which divine up sort of like a power uh uh and then we rotate that so every like every group of people is actually always changing uh, and they the one who actually sort of like uh, 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 divining also how we should meet and converse uh, uh, with uh, uh, we make it fun the meeting with uh, uh, with costume for example so it's like a, it's so the so the majlis has become like monthly costume party uh, and meeting. <laughs> it's very nice as well because that's 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 uh, uh, there's a lot of things to, to to say on that as well and 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 like really a big uh, subject as well. So so those things are really basic of the uh, of what we do in 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 good school and in our space now in good school with uh with education platform we have uh uh i think around 50 people uh like really working daily with a salary <laughs> uh uh and and it's not big of course but it's sort of like cover sort of a basic uh needs uh but uh but but that's what what sort of lumbung that we're practicing is actually so far working that way yeah 
Yeah, since since Ade mentioned about the time, uh, which is uh, uh, every society, they they have their own concept of time. Uh, and uh, but now uh, with the with the with the whole world system of time, which is applied everywhere in the world, uh, it's also applied in the in the means of division of labor. Uh, the division of labor here uh, in the in, in in the society where where the lumbung was practiced in the past time uh, in Indonesian context, uh, I think it's totally different. Like uh, in the, the place where I come from, where I was born and raised in South Sulawesi, uh, the concept of time is really different in the past time. Like when you when you want to say here after. Uh, and then it said uh, a sorry monri. A sorry monri means the the days before. So hereafter is translated in Bugis language as a as a, the the the, day, the days a sorry monri or the days before, uh, it, which is very interesting concept of time. Uh, uh, and then oh yeah, one also one one also one word that we rarely mention since the minutes we started this. Uh, Conversation is about the hangout, the the the, uh, the hangout uh, culture uh, where we where it's really applied in uh, in in Indonesian context, which is also uh, uh, reflected in Rang Rupa since it was uh, started. Rang Rupa was started by people who hang out, and then it's been running. It's been run by people who have been hanging out for twenty years. So <laughs> the, long, <laughs> the longest hangout. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long thing, and then we hope we can still hang out for the next twenty years or thirty years. <laughs> so actually, hang professional out. professional hangouters. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, hangout is very, and then it's as I mentioned, it's because of the because of the concept of time is uh, it's different uh, different in terms of that's the reason why people are really like, like to hang out like. Uh, my, my question, Dana, have you been to Indonesia before? Uh, no. Okay. So if you go to, yeah, it's fine. Uh, if you go to Indonesia someday, you will find the coffee shops are everywhere. Are everywhere. It's like everywhere, totally everywhere. Like people really like to hang out, sit for hours, uh, chatting, giggling, and then discuss. And even, uh, even. Uh, many many strategic or important uh, decisions. Yeah, Starbucks also, so you can yeah. come. Yeah, Starbucks, Starbucks everywhere, <laughs> and and Burger King and McDonald's of course and KFC yes. <laughs> so coffee shops of are everywhere, and then people are hanging out, uh, uh, telling their stories to each other, uh, giggling uh, hours and hours. So you can you can imagine that with this pandemic situations, uh, who are the people who are suffer the most? Are the people who are like to hang out because because of this social distance, uh, because of yeah because of this social uh, distance, many people get the ma many people get jobs from hanging out. Like many people get new network from hanging out. Uh, so. This uh, pandemic is actually also a moment that we we are, we can think of uh, that we underestimate the hanging out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so Rangrupa Rangrupa is uh, has been reflecting this this notion of hangout for twenty years. That uh, that's the reason why we really like humor because uh, if you hang out with no humor, it's not hang out. It's only hang. <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah, a network, yeah, a network here where when we're hanging out is very important. But remember, uh, because in the work in the word network there is work. So after networking we work. Because if it's only no work, it's only net. And net is not only for you, it's only for mosquitoes, not for human. So yeah, that's, that's <laughs> network is imp very important to work. That's that's for me now. <laughs> that's, work, that's work in network. That's the point of of undead, no? 
like it not work. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, most of network it doesn't work. Yeah, that's, that's true. Not most, but <laughs> because, because it's net. No work. Because it's only net, no work. <laughs> I'm um, so we're at about 45 minutes in, and I just want to open it up to uh, comments or questions from. Yeah, sorry, we talk too much. <laughs> no, 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 it's good. We can keep we can keep chatting while people write comments or questions if there are some. But um, for anyone on Zoom, it's the Q and A button down at the bottom, uh, or if you're on YouTube, it's the chat box, and I'll just keep an eye on those. But we can keep we can keep talking. Yeah, absolutely. This is so, I mean, this is so inspiring and so excellent. It's just, I think it's absolutely key for what we need right now. At the lab, we were kind of trying to do this thing where we were pulling, we're doing kind of a crowdsourcing document where we're pulling every example of a commons or a, um, it was called the Bay Area Commonwealth, but any kind of collective resources that were provided to the community outside of the nonprofit model, outside of any kind of, um, for-profit structure. So we we collected this, this document that was 44 pages long of all of these kind of commonly held resources and all of these different networks like <laughs> that you're talking about of these hangouts that were happening informally where people were like feeding each other or taking care of their kids or figuring out these other ways of, of manipulating the world. And I think that's what you're trying to draw out from all of these local environments, these little examples of the commons being created in spite of, you know, the horrors of capitalism. <laughs> I think we just killed it with that. <laughs> <laughs> So are there any more uh, press releases in your future? Uh, we're trying to do not press releases maybe next time, but we have been developing this thing called continuing the agricultural terms, no? Harvests, maybe, and then make it more public because we've done it couple of like we've done it always right now almost every day because again like we've been meeting because our bodies cannot move no under this capitalism society continuing with what you're doing what you're saying before mm -hmm. it is like it shows how difficult it is to survive and then not only from that but also like what Andan said if, if a lot of our practice is, is based on wasting time with each other no uh, we don't think time is money, so we can waste uh, those things. Even money we can waste, but time even more we can waste on it. Like it's not productive only. It can be unproductive and then it's actually kind of the basis of a lot of our decision making. And then uh, with, with Zoom, for example, it's an architectural thing as well. Like it's kind of difficult to translate hanging out sessions with the architecture of Zoom, Skype, whatever you have, you know, Google Meet. Uh, uh, it's because like, it's like each of us is like this rectangles, no? And then how they deal with voices and volumes, etc. cetera. It's, it, it, it cannot, it's good for meetings and productive things uh, like, to translate that meeting room, formal meeting room to online platform. But for hanging out, for example, it's almost, it always comes short. So maybe we need to work on that actually. And uh, uh, if we want to translate something virtually, hanging out, for example, then maybe something like the space we are working in or translating is actually like, it's really, uh, it's really time to rethink that. But then also, there there are there are some questions already actually. Yeah, there are some questions. One one said, can you share what the approach will be 
on the instance, if, if by chance, that there are blocks in the kinds of decision-making process that you're doing. So what happens when there are blocks or problems? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I think, I think I can continue from, from uh, following up Farid said, uh, the, the, the time, the productivity, uh, uh, it's a, uh, we mostly not the setting up a goal uh, or, or in, a, in a production sort of way of thinking. Uh, that's why also uh, people will freaking out, like uh, trying to figure it out or imagine like what, uh, what will be in the commenta. So, <laughs> because that's how, we, that's how we think, right? That's how we think like exhibition. Well, we, we think of exhibition is actually also sort of like a, a production uh, <clears throat> uh, mode, you know, uh, uh, there's and then there is a capture of moment <clears throat> of of a presentation. That's when people in and out the access exhibition also frame that moment or on uh, on time as well. But what about if we come up with uh, those values, those stories, those uh, 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 different ideas of time. I think hanging out, people will think hanging out, it's wasting time, but uh, uh, it's, it's actually also a lot of caring in, in many sense <clears throat> there. Uh, we call it wasting time, of course, exactly what Farid said, because, because we, we, we are in that logic, right? <clears throat> but it's actually in terms of uh, so-called production, <clears throat> let's say we produce a lot of stuff. Uh, 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 in 20 years, and 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 uh, and and maybe based on that, talking about the decision making, uh, we don't decide sometimes. <laughs> so we just like letting letting the conversation is actually uh, and, and time decide itself. But sometimes we don't decide. Uh, uh, so like the so. One can read it as confusion, of course, easily in in our society now, right? But but uh, it uh, we never do uh, we never do voting, for example. We we don't believe in that as well. Uh, uh, so we it's a long conversational. Uh, it's long conversational uh, uh, rotating role and rotating function uh, is actually also one of the uh, uh, way to sh shake up the, the, the ideas of power as well. That is actually, uh, uh, I mean, in, co in connection with, uh, with, uh, uh, with decision-making, this really interesting as well, that, that, that those things are like different situation, different time and different conversation can actually lead to also a different uh, unpredictable let's say decision. <clears throat> so, so those things, uh, uh, I mean, if, if you're in the structure, uh, uh, the, 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 the rotating role will be, will be uh, super, super difficult, but, be, but maybe you should try because uh, it, has, it has a certain condition though, which is many of us not uh, uh, teach that way. Modern education, it's or modernity is categorized, right? It's it's categorized people, you know, like like you. Profession is actually ca categorization. Artists, you know, like being an artist, you know, like like to, like look back to how artists as a profession, for example, in Indonesia, I would say it's actually pretty new. Like artists as a profession, artists as a, as a category. And in, <laughs> it's pretty new. It's uh, it's it's. I, I I don't think it's even one hundred years. It's a uh, it's a. Uh, <clears throat> but before, if we see, if we see a traditional model, uh, uh, a society, uh, uh, art like artists, it's it's uh, it's even divided by by time. You know, like like like. It's just activity. It's just it's just a, a expression of energy that is actually come to a certain time rather than rather than rather than a profession 
So in the morning you are farmers, and then at and 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 in the afternoon you can be your parents, and then in the and then in in the evening you sing or you create something. So even like one person is actually this like one individual is actually it's not one single dimensional, which is we are now. It 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 used to be very rich a <laughs> dimension. But again, go back to go back to the, the the role play. It's 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 very it's very difficult to do now because we cut we categorize ourselves, our body being categorized, right? <clears throat> so uh, so it has a cert We have to break that first, as in uh, uh, we 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 can call it now. It's it's a high skill because because with with this uh, rotating role play. Uh, uh, of function, it only possible if all the individuals there is actually pretty much in high skill and also endurance, because it's pretty tiring. <clears throat> it's actually, uh, I think that's that's why also we invent efficiency. Uh, we we don't have that word in Indonesia for efficiency because we don't <laughs> we don't we don't come coming from that that uh, uh, frame of logic. So, so those things are efficient because of, a or need to be efficient because of a certain way of, 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 of logic as well. But when, you, when we break that, so somehow we break that category as well, we break that uh, power structure, we, we even break uh, 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 the knowledge barrier which is, which is most of us actually have. Uh, I, I, I mentioned before about skills or like high skill, but like maybe I would say like it's actually more into uh, diverse knowledge because one should with this rotating role and then you have to have uh, diverse knowledge as well to take on. So by by practicing that, we break that also. We break that uh, our education that being colonized us in, 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 in centuries, that we, we are a single-minded or single knowledge sort of uh, a being. So those, uh, Sorry if I didn't. If, sorry if I didn't answer the decision making. But but that's sort of like the uh, it. Uh, this lumbung practice or what we practice is also has a certain sort of a precondition, which is when we apply to it, and then we from within we actually break those uh, frames, prison, colonization that we already have from many many years so that's actually we struggle with it's not easy because we 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 do good school uh, 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 we call it uh, collective studies and it's 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 super interesting really exciting moment that we learn from from the process not only from the participants but also for us it's it's a huge challenge how you you can easily mention about experiential based learning, but but how you break the class, the idea of a class, the idea of teaching, the idea of uh, 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 knowledge, you know, those things are really, really, really interesting that we struggle and learn actually from this process. That's so right. And I think that um, having an, an, ec an ecosystem basically in every, locale so that people are kind of cross germinating all of these knowledges and learning languages and codifications and roles, professionalization and relearning how to kind of be in relation with one another is so key. And it's, it's gonna be huge. I, I mean, I can't even imagine how hard it's gonna be <laughs> in Europe, but it's, it would be, it's yeah. really difficult here in the US. We're so, um, We've been so homogenized in our way of thinking and so reductive in our way of thinking and moving through the world. And that's, you know, a result of our systems. But there's there's two comments I just want to call out before we continue. Um, Unjuju just 
sends her respect and support and was yeah, said, say hi also for Yunji. <laughs> <laughs> and then A France okay. says, thank you for your presence and trajectory. I share a local non-human variation of Lumbung, acorn woodpeckers whose granary is held collectively and also seem to elicit humor. It's beautiful. Yeah, it touches upon as well, like uh, what Ade was saying, you know, like uh, uh, maybe it's even touched the term of demodernization, you know, like because as as a project, as a colonial project, actually, like modernization has never been fully successful in us, yeah. in our society, at least in Indonesia. That's why we're coming. That's where we're coming from. And then, as you said, you know, like it. And then that's why, like something that's not effective and efficient, uh, like a collective way of working, because it's not the most effective and efficient way of working, and not the most productive as well, especially related to time, uh, as has been uh, explained intensively before. But it's also like uh, the separation between human and non-human nature and culture, all those kind of stuff. It's kind of, uh, as well as what you said, you know, like uh, it's helpful to see the states as a long-term experiment on how to modernize stuff, no? That's why I think like what seeing from a distance is like as if you, your contacts are burning right now, you know, like, uh, uh, and it's like, uh, it's already, have enough time in the making on how it ends up this way right now, no? Uh, I think like that separation, which Ade has said, Ad Andan has said also, you, Dina, uh, that walls of separation exactly come from that, like uh, how to grow, how to like make economy as the best or as the most important thing in life, all those kind of stuff. Uh, and then how to do stuff faster, bigger, stronger, all those kind of stuff, you know? Uh, and then it's falling apart right now. And then it's kind of funny that because people who come in Ruang Rupa or from Ruang Rupa or, you know, learn in, in, in good school as well, all those kind of stuff, we're trying to actually not representing questions to those things but actually practicing so it's kind of like these kind of sessions are actually very useful for us to give that opportunity to reflect but uh i think the question the further question is like uh how to use these types of opportunities to actually to practice it as well so uh maybe that that comes out that way as well, you know, like uh, how to make conferences, symposium, discussion sessions, all those kind of stuff. It's not only a place to reflect and to represent those approaches, but 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 how to uh, experience and practice those types of resistance further. Uh, humor is one way, it's just like, you know, we can try to be funny, sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's not, but, uh, but, but it is kind of like uh, a channel out of that way of thinking, no? Absolutely. It's what we need and what we need now so clearly is just that kind of form of resistance in all frameworks and all possibilities. And I'm kind of, we, you shouldn't answer this, but I'm just very curious about how dealing with the institution of Documenta and the entire structure therein will be, how that will be challenged by Ruan Grupa's project. But we have another, we have another question or comment. Um, Shampoi Lim says, thank you. Such a great and insightful talk. I was wondering if you could speak about what your general thoughts are on art criticism and the role that it serves today, especially in countering the structures you're addressing think and thinking about. One thing I can start with is just like, we need to embody the criticism. If you want to create, like, again, like uh, this is coming 
very very biased from our side you know like uh, uh, instead of pra- instead of doing institutional critics we're 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 kind of like practicing it you know so it's embodied it's like uh, it's in our it's it's corporeal it becomes it becomes an everyday subject so it's not separated from the practice maybe it would be would be great to do it that way of course it's not always possible and there is a role criticism can play but uh, if it's from our experience if it's coming from a distance and it becomes elite you know uh, only 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 a group of people can only understand that if we stage a documenta 15 which is basically uh, based on our critics on how institutional have been institutions have been practiced so far then it wouldn't be uh, it wouldn't be a ruang rupa project let's say you know it would be i don't know what uh, it would be a distance take on documenta which we are not interested in making i think ade and andan have more insights on that as well no i'm uh, i'm good it's no it's it's uh, yeah it it's really back again to what i mentioned because because we 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 thought that way we we we've been and also the the industry it's it's it the, the logic for the artwork like I, uh, to 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 the extreme it's 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 it i mean like i can imagine it's 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 really like just like to to continue what what farid said for example you know it's 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 hard and it's hard because people are people are afraid you know because it's a uh, it's but it but it's also show how how in prison we are and how also how uh, so called the art world is actually a prison so it's like a, a it's a it is very conservative you know art world is very conservative you know like it's it's the most conservative industry or world maybe art world contemporary world it's it's imperialistic in the same time but it because to be imperial to be colonized you have to be conservative as well at the same time like all the museums biennials and everything i think maybe only in the art world that we are thinking thinking or discussing this is not art this is art this is not art this is super stupid you know like it's really a it's a super conservative you know like like a, like i don't know I, I, maybe i'm wrong but i never hear that kind of discussion in in sport maybe for example <laughs> or in music maybe you know, like a, this is not sport and sport this is hobby or sport like like it is you know it's a it's 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 very it's very commercial it's very it's very super neoliberal and 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 uh, and and very conservative because again it's it's hand it's because it's need it it it's contribute to each other you know you, you cannot separate that it's it's so uh 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 how museum how 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 museum think and and uh, like being i think it's 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 very uh, uh towards towards the theme towards the towards the gender towards the all the stuff it's very it's very conservative it's very uh, uh male also in the same time it's uh, those things are there so uh, the only thing that we can think of is actually uh just like farid said like you you really have to think and practicing it from within because uh uh we have a lot of people that that i mean we still see people don't understand us for example you know like like and then we keep we keep on asking what's the role of arts in the society <laughs> i don't know if 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 uh, any of uh, discussion with that subject in sports so like what sports roles in the society i don't know maybe <laughs> but only arts who have that or contemporary art who have that insecurity of their own roles which is which is and we make discussion of it we make exhibition of it which is again it's not 
corporeal. It's not come from within. So the only way is, is actually not to talk about it, not to discuss about it. I think I think people already discuss about it. People, some people like to discuss about it, which is good as well. But but it it didn't change because maybe we we don't want to change because it's it's very it's really so much fear. So so to 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 take on as a practice is actually the only way uh, 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 to do it really. Even, even criticism, you know, that's that's the uh, like thinking towards model, towards practices, towards uh, values, rather than uh, thinking most- towards a uh, 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 so-called elite of a certain knowledge. Yeah. And thinking in pra- in in motion, in movement, you know. As- yeah, because uh, because you 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 will you will find the criticism in itself, and and then will find the, like the real sort of like the real the real demoder and the real decolonization, whatever you want to call that. <laughs> I like uh, the modern. Practice. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a bit too polite for me. You know, I think it's it's. Uh, you know, it should be devalued. You know, it should be maybe we should, maybe we should call different. <laughs> you know, maybe art should should call differently. We have different. We have uh, many ideas on even on art. You know, as as a word. You know, I mean, like uh, we don't we, we don't use the word art in Indonesia. We have our own word, for example. How does it translate? uh it's it's coming from the uh it's coming a lot i think coming from the the, the also uh it, it's it's more performative i would say it's more rituals it's more coming from a lot from uh, the traditional notion as well uh, uh i mean like when no this is also a problem because when we say uh, indonesia uh, people will think that it's sort of like there is a one indonesia which is like we have like 200 languages <laughs> <laughs> so you see, you know, like like uh, try to define that as a one term is it is like it's sort of like that's sort of like a, it's a it's a it's a first mistake. <laughs> so so even to 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 see that as a, as a term, which is which is, I mean, we can we can we can see it a, a, a challenge for for academic as well, not not to you know how you know like to to because that's that, that's thing like like so many things are really ba- based on uh, 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 agreement which is uh, powerly uh, problematic <clears throat> so but when we start to see that differently the sort of like art translated in Indonesia and Indonesian word in Bahasa would be Sunni but uh, for sure in in this 200 language they all have maybe similar word for that so but but like Sunni, for example, yeah, it's it's more like uh, something that not only fine but also uh, performative, more performative, because it has a uh, there is a serving, there is a serving notion to it. Mm. That is actually you you serve either to society or to to higher spirits. That's uh, that I would sort of uh, shortly define that word. Yeah. yeah, it's not autonomous. Let's say you know. So the yeah. if you cannot, yeah, that push of autonomy of art, I think like that's where it becomes dangerous. At least here, and it comes again to modernization. You know, and then and then we understood it before not like that and then and then there's still like an ongoing uh even attempts to keep on art make more autonomous and then people dream about it even here which i I would say that we we don't share that dream you know that imagination it's actually like uh, uh 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 and the market, for example, art market is one way, one major way to do it, no? Like how 
to again extract how to present, represent and all those kind of stuff, how to take something out of its context. Then it won't be local anymore, then it becomes abstract, then it becomes dangerous. At least for us, that question is actually like a non-question. It should not be like that, you know. We should live it as well. Whether you're an artist or not, it, it's not, it's a non-question. So also to the, the modern, the, the art itself, or like even the profession, that will be a interesting mm -hmm. <laughs> how we can go with that. Yeah. I have 200. School, I think, yeah, school, I think that we should change first. It's, it's yeah. uh, definitely. And does Adnan, Adnan, are you having some trouble with your internet? Do you want to say anything or? No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. Great. Well, I don't want to take up all of your time. I could talk. I could talk to you forever about this. This is. Thank you so much. Thank you for everyone who passionately listened. <laughs> <laughs> hope it, hope it's meaningful. <laughs> As it's meaningful for us, of course. I think that's it. So I appreciate your time so much, and this was absolutely so great. Um, and I hope all goes well, and I hope we invent 200 new languages or, or not, or <laughs> laugh with each other <laughs> from our nonsense. Thank you. <laughs> really appreciate your time. <laughs>